Hello everyone. Thank you so much for viewing. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. I am Mayaya. And today I am talking about the God of the Bible and the Messiah of the Bible. So as you can see from my topic, what I'm going to be discussing on true to my word, I'm going to discuss that. So the God of the Bible is the devil. It is the evil oppressor. The Messiah of the Bible is the oppressor worker. The demon. The Bible was rewritten by the evil oppressor and you know who the evil oppressor is if you don't just look around <laughs> whoever is oppressing you and your people that's the evil oppressor so uh the bible was rewritten by the evil oppressor which is the invaders and the colonizer of our people for our destruction. It wasn't written to set us free. Understand this. These people cannot write anything for you. He don't want anything they have touched. They are an abomination. He don't want anything they have touched. Understand it. And so, the Bible will never, can never elevate you to your highest spiritual growth, which is your salvation. It can never do that. The Messiah, the God in the Bible, and the Messiah in the Bible is evil human beings and they were put in there to make you worship the evil human being they know you will not worship a human being literally so they place themselves in the bible the bible is rewritten with lies and manipulations when they took out yahuwah name they took out the truth all the other truth in the Bible is very, very, very minute and suspect. And it cannot operate without the truth of Yahuwah, without his true name. It becomes null and void. Anyhow, so these are human beings who wanted control. So they placed themselves in these positions. Some hints in the Bible. Now understand, when I say nothing in the Bible is true, I'm saying the Bible is not the truth that we should depend on. We should depend on the Holy Ruach. And I will show you how to get to that spiritual level. We should depend on the Holy Ruach to download the truth into us. That's why Yahuwah said, I will write my law in your heart. Now the demons have changed it around. <laughs> it's in our minds. The demons have changed it around to our heart, our emotion. Because the demons know that we can't really think with our emotions. We are overtaken by our emotions. Anyhow, they are exert control by putting their names and title there. And they serve, we serve them through their names and title. And through the lies they have written. 
And so we will not be liberated with this Bible. We will only be liberated when we get the living water. So there are four things that we must do to be liberated from our oppressor. And I know people brag about we waking up, but we still in the muck of waking up. We waking up. <laughs> we uh like brush off our eyes and we got a little bit of truth and we got stagnant. And so we thought because we got that little bit of truth that we had the whole thing. So we must reject. Some of us have, but we haven't rejected everything. So we have to reject all four of these things to grow spiritually. Now, first, I want to say, if you... <laughs> Don't believe that it is a, a line manipulation and wrong that they took Yahuwah's name out of the Bible and also his Messiah and his children, then this lecture is not for you because you will not be able to go forward and process it. It's going to be foreign to you. If you want to uh, dabble in, that's fine. But I'm not going to argue with you. Oh, no. So don't expect that. Don't expect to ask me no bunch of questions and argue with me. Because if you are at the level that you who is calling you to, you're going to seek out him for your understanding. <laughs> you know, I don't mind, but I don't, I'm not going to get bogged down with a bunch of uh you trying to hold on to a bunch of lies that your enemy have told you. Okay. So you have to reject God in the Bible. You have to reject the Messiah in the Bible. You have to do these things through your will. Even if you don't truly know the name right now. You need to go and research it if you're not willing to accept what I tell you. You have to reject Christianity and all religions that your enemy, oppressor, and colonizer gave you. Or whoever gave it to you. <laughs> you have to reject it. It's not of Yahuwah. And you have to reject. The Bible as the truth. Now, at this point, you will become free, but it's temporary. And that's where most people stop. It's temporary because the enemy have many tentacles. It's 40,000 different brands of Christianity. So you know they have many tentacles. It's 1,000 brands of English Bibles. So you understand they have many tentacles. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, this is a brief time. So, what you have to do in this time of liberation. You're going to feel great. But that's where most people falter. They feel so great when they get liberated and learn this and reject this. And they stop there. We got to take a hold. Take a hold to your who a name. If you don't know his name. You can call him your creator. You can start there. You can tell him, show me your name. Okay, so that that's number one. 
Number two, do all the commandments you know. All the commandments you know and understand. Now, the Bible is not the truth, which I mean you have to get the Holy Ruach to understand the Bible, to know the truth from the false in there. The commandments is not the truth in the Bible because the name has been taken out. But you can use them to the best you know because the Father knows what you know and what you have been taught. Okay? So, you must reject those four things. Again, the God in the Bible, the Messiah in the Bible, Christianity in all of its forms and all forms of religion, and the Bible itself. So what you're rejecting, you're not rejecting that these things don't exist because many gods exist. Many. Thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Millions. What you're rejecting is they're not the truth of Yahuwah. Okay. When you do this, then you catch a hold to his name and do all his commandments. He's going to bring you up to the level 7 and 8. He's going to come up here. And that's where you're going to be nurtured. And when you have went through, he's not going to all of a sudden give you his holy ruach because you are being prepped and tested. Because you could turn back. <laughs> Somebody could come the next day and tell you, yeah, I found the name. His name is Jehovah. And you could take a hold of it. So he's not going to give you his holy ruach right away. You understand that? He's going to give you a portion, of course. And then he's going to begin to teach you. If he don't teach you himself. I'm going to send you to a teacher. Some of you may come to my channel. Some of you may come to go to other people's channel. But I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging at all. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying this as a precaution. I have the best quality. Teaching. Because I read a lot of other people out for, I guess, growth. <laughs> I love growth too. But I'm going to teach what you who is say to me. And a lot of times it's, it's not going to agree with the Bible. Well, some people, they can't stand not agreeing with the Bible. <laughs> Even though the Bible is written by heathens, they, they can't stand that. They can't stand that. Uh that kind of pressure of being questioned. So I'm just telling you, I'm going to have the best information for your growth. And I'm not bragging. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm just uh, telling you, trying to help you. Because I know where you are. I was a Christian for over 40 years. So I know who you are. I understand. Okay. And so... Reject those things, catch a hold to you who are named, and do all of his commandments the best you understand and the best you know. The best thing is to put his name in the first four commandments, and you will rise supreme. <laughs> you rise supreme as a Messiah, not the fake messiah i don't honor him the fake messiah i'm talking about the messiah yahusha as he said <laughs> i would give to those who thirst living water you begin to get the living water and one thing i'm gonna say here it's gonna blow your mind and I know you're not expecting it. It's, it's going to blow your mind. Beyond blow your mind. You're given the living water. You're going to know your history. And 
who you are, your identity from the beginning, from creation. And nobody is ever going to be able to tell you any different if you keep a hold of this. That's going to blow your mind. Uh, people are running around now. We are Yasha Raw. That's to confirm it. And also, we are Yuda. The America is Yuda. Or Yehuda. And also, Jerusalem, the great city. So, it's going to blow your mind that we've always been here. Because the liars have manipulated and what you expect for a liar? What you expect for a colonizer? I don't understand why people expect any different. I don't understand why people expect the truth out of these people. <laughs> and also, when you are given this, if you accept your fool, nobody going to be able to tell you any different. You're going to know exactly who you are from creation. It's going to be departed into you in your mind. That is the living water <laughs> that you will never thirst again. You see, our people are thirsty. It is one, this ain't the only way they're thirsty. They're thirsty spiritually too. But they're thirsty. 100,000 books. They're looking for the truth of their identity in these books. Written by the liars. <laughs> Those are the only books we got is the ones that's written by the liars. And the one that we have written, we are afraid to stand alone on your hula, so we write them through the information that the liars gave us. So they're still the same. So, Yahoo is going to give you your identity, your people identity. He's going to give you everything. It's going to flow like the living water. It's hard to explain. But once you have it, you will know it. And you will be at that point. <laughs> Where you will see him and you will speak to him face to face. And you will not have any other doubt in your mind that the Bible is not the truth. You will not have any because it will not coincide with the, li the lies they gave you. And it's no way for you to make it coincide. And that's why I have the best material. Because I'm not a person that care if it coincides with the lies they gave us. Because I know if it does, then we're in trouble. <laughs> if you who was on these people, who is his enemy and our enemy, then we're in trouble. <laughs> and that's not happening. He love you more. He loves you 144,000 times. And that means perfect. He loves you more than anyone. He loves you more than any other nations. And that's why they hate you. That's why they can't stand you. Because they know you're his favorite. <laughs> and not only that, they don't even come close. To be in his pet, not only his favorite. Well, anyway, I'm not bragging. I'm just telling the truth in love. And it's not because, it's because they did it. That's what they want. They don't want to serve him. So I understand that. But anyway, thank you so much for listening today. And I hope that you can build on this today and grow spiritually 
to that point where you can be face to face with your maker and creator. And he's going to tell you all you ever desired to know. Shalom.